Hey, it's Saturday, everybody. It's your daily hour with me. We're on TV. Yeah, again, look, you see a reflection of the TV in the window there. Yeah. In my room. Yeah, Lewis is asleep. Oh. Masturbate. Whoa. <laughs> Ew, I don't know why. I'm, no, I don't want to be in here anymore. <laughs> There he's, he's sleeping. Yeah, this is where his, his bed is, though. Is this, is this your? Yep. This is where you sleep. You sp sleep there, sp sit there for ten hours a day. Yeah, I guess so. Ten I hours. Spend, I spend a lot of time in that chair on the computer too. Do you? Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you, you sleep? Yeah, that's. What? <laughs> you, you said something that was gross earlier. Now you're in your computer chair. But uh, here, let's go. Let's check the. What happens here on the show is we're going to be talking for about an hour, and that's the show. Uh, yeah, on every, we come here every Saturday. It's kind of late today. It's like uh, mediumly late, but it's not late as last week. Yeah. You guys are watching. We missed the season finale. Yeah. We've been talking about that, so we're into season six now. We're in season six of the program. Getting out this, the calendar here. We're well into March now. It's like a, the 10th. All right, yeah. We're going to be down the street tomorrow at Angie's but for Daylight oh, Savings yeah. Time. You ready for Daylight Savings Time? That's tonight. Oh, yeah, it is. We well, lose how is that going to affect the 2 a.m.? Yeah, I don't know. We're going to lose an hour, though. We're about to lose an hour tonight, so that was last week for the viewers, though. Wait, so, but a, so a normal like, sitcom TV show, like, their season is usually like 25 episodes or something. Yeah. So you think it's just because there's so many episodes of you know, you know, you know, it's a like hundred episodes a season. Yeah, we do about a hundred episodes because I don't know. I mean, most shows are only on once a week too. That's true. So we should probably do about seven times as many as a regular season. Because how many? How many regulars? About twenty-five. Yeah, it's, oh, so it's, it's like between twenty-two and twenty-four. And ours usually. are ours are a hundred, so we we're actually go a lot faster than seasons. Like we we move. I think it takes seasons. Like, uh, or I mean, they only do one season a year on most shows. I, I, I don't know if even other annual shows like The News or... We're closer to The News than to those talk or to like a... What a narrative kind of show, you know? So I don't think like talk shows... Yeah. I don't know about how they how they do their seasons and stuff like... Like the region... Like Good Morning America, you know? Do they talk about seasons? I don't know. Well, I feel like maybe like late night shows do you have... Um, you know, like, like Jay Leno or like Conan or something. They maybe kind of have seasons. They also might just be like do it by year. Like you the third year of the show. You keep all your clothes in suitcases? Yes, I don't have a dresser. <laughs> you don't have a dresser, you just constantly, it's like you just moved in. Can we see yep. this? Yep, yeah, you just paint over. Yeah. There's all my <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's where you, you don't, you never wanted to get a dresser? Uh, I just never had the opportunity. And I do have a lot of suitcases, and I don't have any other place to put them. So, so when you when you go on a vacation, do you just take all your clothes? Just just no. shove them in there and clo take the suitcases. Well, there's, there's like four suitcases right there. I don't want to bring all four suitcases. It's a lot. Here's a message. Close. Hey Heather, we're listening to your message. Oh, hey, hey, Heather. I was calling because I just woke up from a dream that Kenny was in. And it was me, Oscar, Kenny, and Freddie, and we were going on some kind of walking adventure. And we ended up in this, like, ritzy neighborhood, and we were walking by this house, and it looked like it had been broken into. And uh, they had, like, this package from QVC <laughs> up front, and we, it, it was like someone had, like, broken into the box and, like, eaten all the stuff. Or like a smashed apple that Freddie ended up eating. And then we went inside to like see if anyone was home because the house looked like it had been broken into. And uh, we go in and there was like a mess inside. And we were like cleaning up, but then Oscar and Freddie both wanted something to drink. The house was upstairs and came downstairs. And he knew Kenny. And he was like, it's you, you, what are you doing back here? You, you have to leave, you're not welcome here. And 
uh-uh. alluded to like you doing some really bad stuff, but you had no idea who it was. It was like you mistaken your identity, or you're like really good at lying that you didn't know who he was. Wow. And, uh, <laughs> it's a really long message. <sighs> but she did just wake up. In the end, we left, and he thought that we had like broken into his house and called the cops and then when cops were coming and we hid in someone else's house and then I woke up whoa but yeah I'm gonna go back to sleep <laughs> go back alright let's see what time was that Heather was sleeping at mm, 12 p.m. That was at noon, so we know <laughs> we know what time you're sleeping in till Heather. Yeah, so that, was, there, that was like the, like twelve hours ago almost. Yeah. So what she she was in a house and then well, we weren't supposed to be there and then somebody was called the cops on me. Yeah. That's fuck. That reminds me of something that happened at my job the other day. Yeah. So I was ringing up this police officer and you know we're gonna What was he buying? What? What was he buying? I don't even remember, like, screws or something. But yeah. He, like, walked to me, and, you know, I, I've got my name on the thing. So he's like, how are you doing, Lewis? And I was like, fine, Officer Dahl. And he's like, you're a great American. <laughs> <laughs> and then he, like, and I told him, there's, like, this, like, survey thing. that like, you're supposed to tell people to do it. And he's like, well, I'll, I'll do it for you. Like, I'll, you're getting a good one. And it was, like, funny. It was, like, two cops and, like, there was like one of them who was like real serious and there was another like a fatter cop who was <laughs> like thought it was funny. Were they, were, were they in uniform? Yes, they were both what? in uniform. Why are the cops buying stuff on uniform? You know, they're supposed to be... He's like doing his own housework or something in his spare time. He's on, where he's on the government's clock. Uh, I don't know. I think he's on the government's clock. You know, because I mean the cops, what do they do? They just can go anywhere and do whatever they want. Because they get to go to fairs, you know? Like you know when they have like carnivals and stuff you see the cops walking around? Yeah. They're getting paid for that. Right. They're having some fun, looking for people, trying to stop people from having fun. Yeah, but I thought it's pretty good. The Home Depot, everybody thinks you're a great American, probably. Like, you yeah. don't even, you don't know me, cops. Yeah. I, th- I think maybe my coworkers suspect that I'm... I mean, what? They suspect you're a great American, or...? They suspect that maybe I'm less than great, but <laughs> maybe, maybe I am a great American. I think, I think you're great, why not? Okay. What does well, it take? Great. I'm an American. Yeah. Put them together. Officer Dahl seems to think so. So, it's one vote for me. Just yeah. He, he's like, you're not stopping me from shopping when I'm on the clock. Yeah. All right. This is fr- a message from Freddie. Hey, program. It's Freddie. Um, I was just getting some food at Jack in the Box, and it literally came out to 10:63. I was like, 1063, that number sounds really familiar, and I kept saying it over and over in my head, 1063, 1063. And then I realized that was the address of the old uh, studio, 1063, oh. away. So, just reminiscing a little bit, I guess, oh, I'm eating my food. 1063, Capital Way. We don't go there, we're not there anymore. That's pretty good. What's that, like? There's some, uh, something when you see patterns that aren't there, it's a fun thing. What? Oh, like a mental disorder. <laughs> yeah. The <laughs> way you like see, you see patterns and numbers, you're like, oh, well, that number is a certain thing. Here's Bird, he says, hey, Kenny, what's up? Here's what I saw today. And then he sent me a picture. I don't know if this, we can show the picture. Oh, I saw this too. This is on, oh, yeah, this it's downtown, but here, we'll, we'll, I don't know if I can this all. See? It's some gr- graffiti from downtown. What does it say? It says, uh, global. It says, global strike. May 1st, don't skip work, skip school. Oh, that's on May, that's May Day, right? You, you know about May Day? Oh, yeah. It's you like when your plane's going down and you didn't turn on the Maypole. Yeah, oh, yeah. But it's also now it's like this thing where you skip school and fight the government and stuff. That's what I did on May Day. Maybe that's it's supposed to be May. Is that supposed to be Cinco de Mayo? I th- maybe these people have it wrong. I don't know. I don't know. Well, as long as people are only doing that one day a year. Yeah. That's they're not. Yeah, none of that stuff's gonna do anything. 
the skipping school stuff, all these protests and stuff. Uh, I don't know what it's gonna do. Skip. Everybody wants to skip school. I mean, I, I used to skip school back in like high school on these days. Not people skip school for college. Uh, you college kids out there don't skip school. You're paying for that. Yeah. If you skip school when you're in college, then you're losing money. That's what I always thought. Yeah. But it, I used to yeah. I used to skip high school though. I mean, I used to go out there and just you know just skip in high school just because uh, you see uh, it's May first and I didn't have any political ideas. I just didn't want to go to school and somebody told me not to. So anybody ever told me not to go to school, I was like, all right, that seems like a plan to do. So that's going to happen, though. Maybe on May 1st, we'll get some, uh, maybe we'll get Bird in here. But we'll call, let's call Bird back. All right, yeah, I read this board on the internet about some professor. He was saying, like, college students are the only customers in the world who want less, less for their money. Yeah. Yeah, people don't think about that. It's all. It's, it's a lot of money for that stuff. You got to get all the money you can, you can get that kind of thing. So, for you college students out there. Yeah, it's for real. Okay, where's Bird's number? Oh, nope. We're gonna call Bird. Got to get the number here. Uh, get a pen. Here's a pen. Oh, all my office supplies. I had this really funny costume that I put on. It's like this women's pajamas. Women's pajamas, huh? Yeah, see that. Yeah, where'd you get that? Uh, at that rummage sale. We were at, at With the Santa yeah. stuff from last week? What? Yeah. If you guys were watching last week, you could see that. Uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, I have a story to tell that hasn't been told on the program yet. Yeah, okay. Okay, so. <laughs> uh, Tuesday night. I was at the China Clipper with uh, Ricky. Yeah. I don't know if Ricky's been on the program. He's been on here. He's he's the, he's saying on it was on the Valentine's Day special. He sang a couple songs. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, me and Ricky were at the Clipper, and then we met this guy. Uh, he's in the army. He just like came over. He started like he like offered to buy us drinks, and. Also, on that night, there was, like, a bunch of people from the legislature who, I guess, like, just got out of work, and, like, at first there was only, like, f- like five or six of them, and, like, it seemed like they were co-workers, but then, like, eventually there was, like, it seemed like there was, like, 25 of them at least. Well, but early on, this guy, um, I guess, I guess I can say his first name is Justin, and he is in the army, I think he just got, uh, back, so he had a bunch of money. He's like, all right, I'm gonna say these drinks are for you, and then and from you, and they pointed at me because he's like, because you have the, like the best sweater. And I was wearing that Scottish Terrier vest. Oh yeah. And then, and he was like, he was like talking to me and Ricky, but it was like funny because we were right next to the PA, so we couldn't really hear him that well. But he was like, all right, do you want like the redhead or the brunette? And we were both kind of like, oh, like. Oh, he's gonna do one of those things where you like point and you're like, that the drinks from that guy, and you go like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. But we were both kind of like, uh, like. I don't know. I'm not like trying to pick someone up at a bar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's helping you. Yeah, but he ended up paying for like a bunch of our drinks, and I I got kind of drunk. Um, I sang the song "Hello" by Lionel Richie, and I finally got bubbles. Steve Rye thought I gave a good enough performance. Did yeah. yeah? Okay. Yeah, that was the first time I have me. I did an Irish car bomb Whoa. with him. We both did them. But uh, the bartender didn't want to hand me that shot that was on fire because I already seemed kind of drunk. Oh. But then after that, we were like walking around and he was like, all right, like, let's get something to eat. And we're like, okay, well, the only thing that's open is the hot dog stand. And we went over there and he's like, no, this isn't, this isn't what I want. And we, he paid for a cab to go to Denny's. He Whoa. bought us all cheeseburgers. And he also, he like, he like found some lady in the <laughs> bar and she went with us too. <laughs> she, was, she was pretty cool. Um, yeah, but then he, like, and then he paid for a cab back to, but he, like, got dropped off at his place, and then he just, like, gave us money. Whoa. So, but it was, like, pretty funny. Was this I guy d- in the legislature? No, he was in the army. Oh, but yeah. But everybody else in the bar was in the legislature, and they were, like, all wearing suits and shit. Like, they didn't even go home after work. Whoa. And it was, like, I mean, I, like, there was just, like, a bunch of, like, really, like, people who were, like, way too well-dressed to be in the Clipper yeah. in normal circumstances. So I asked one of them, I was like, do you guys all work together? And he's like, oh, yeah, we're all in the legislature. Like, we didn't even have time to go home. Is that Congress? I don't know. It, it seemed like... Congress was at the Clipper. Yeah, I don't know if they were the actual, like, 
state senators or whatever. Yeah. It seemed like they were maybe more like aides. Okay. But I don't know. Maybe. I don't know what the fucking state senators for Washington look like. D- did you get those drinks? The girls get the drinks and. Uh, I think we both were kind of like, eh, I don't know. Uh, so we just got, we just ended up getting drinks ourselves. Wow. What a wow. nice guy. Yeah, he was pretty cool. And then he tried to call me the next morning because we both gave him our phone number. <laughs> oh, yeah? But, the, but then he called me at 7.30 in the morning Whoa. and I pick up. And then I tried to call him back and his phone was off. He wants to hang out some more. Yeah, but he ca- he kept also like kind of like like vaguely accusing me of like scamming him. <laughs> He's scamming <laughs> me. I'm taking you all these places. But I'm like, well, like you're yeah, gonna be my friend after this. Dude. Like I don't know. We're gonna keep hanging out, right? You're not gonna, gonna ditch me after tonight. Is he like? <laughs> yeah. Well, it was it was just like funny. At this one point, he was like. He was like talking about me and Ricky, and he's like, "Oh, you guys are like that movie, like you know, like the one with the Mexican kid and the retarded kid." <laughs> and, we <were laughs> like, Nap- and we were like, "Napoleon Dynamite." And he was like, "Yeah, that oh, was you're no problem. Yeah, he thought you were Napoleon Dynamite, and that yeah. guy was, being pa- was Pedro." Yeah, Ricky was Pedro. And then I even like when he said that, I was like, "Ah, you're Pedro." <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm a Ricky. That's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was like really funny thing to happen, like totally unexpectedly. Yeah. That, that was probably like the most exciting thing. Besides being called a great American, that was pretty exciting. So, but he, he, you still haven't found him though? Uh, I mean, I, I think I like ex- well, sort of accidentally called him today because this other guy, Jackson, called me like yesterday and yeah. wanted to use his image of me for like this game he's making. But I guess he kind of like mumbled and he said his name because I thought he said Justin and not uh. Jackson. And I was like, oh, that's really weird that this guy who's in the army is like making this game. And found this picture of me on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> and then it turned out there was actually this other guy who I've known for years who I know makes games that I don't know why I didn't think it was him. So you're gonna get on a ge- you're gonna be in a video game, your face? Uh, it, I think it's it's not a video game. It's like an RPG, like pen and paper thing. Oh. But he said it. It's, I think it's he said the game is called Smash or something like that. And the describe the description of the game is it's about hipster douchebags hooking up in a bar. That's you. All right, yep. here. let's call a Bird. <laughs> Are we guys? They're, they're pretty nice. I think. Yeah, I think so. Bird, back sorry, number, so. Did you call? Oh. Leave a message, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. Hey, Bird. It's the program. Uh, you can call us back. You have about 45 minutes. So, all right, bye. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, actually, we could try to call that guy right now from the program. Uh, all right. Maybe he'll buy us a cheeseburger. Did he get you? A, did you get the cheeseburger meal? I think uh, it comes with I the Denny's, right? I well, I got a burger and fries. All uh, the way to Lacey, right? Yeah, yeah. It's funny. It's like right by Sherry's, but it's like really tucked away. Uh, I know where that Lacey, where that that Denny's is, but that's a pretty far drive too. Got cab right all the way there, out to Denny's. Yep. Yeah. Oh, wait, did I already say that I knocked my water over because I was drunk? No, wh- where? No, uh, in Denny's. Knocked oh, the, like, wow. The ice was all over the carpet. They're used to drunk people. Yeah. Yeah, the guy was, like, pretty nice about it. He's like, oh, I just got you guys to keep me company. Yeah. Yeah, Denny's, that's what Denny's is for. I mean, it's late night. What are people going to be doing? Yeah. Does, does he know about the program at all? Or is gonna uh, I don't think so. Uh, well, but also, so I, I can't the mailbox him. belonging to yeah, three, I got this six, message. zero. Uh, so, never called you back. Oh, so maybe he doesn't even check your voicemail. Please try again later. Goodbye. Please try again later, so you can't even leave a voicemail. Yeah. yeah I mean, so, like, the, the, when he called me at 7:30 the next day, um, I tried to call him back at, like a couple hours later, and I left him a message, and I had no response. <laughs> I don't know why. Did he go home with a lady? Uh, I think the lady went to his house. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean, yeah. That's yeah. good. Yep. Yeah, so it was like pretty obvious and that was gonna happen. It worked out then. So we're gonna, yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna get into a commercial break pretty soon here. After the commercial break, I think we're gonna call Freddy. There it is.
got the fly and the fly and the fly and the fly. You got a fly and the fly and the fly and the fly. Are you Yeah. Hey, we're back. Lewis is wearing women's pajamas. You know, yeah, we can see you can see it here in the, in the reflection of the window. <laughs> he's he's trying to he was trying to get off the camera so we can change his clothes so uh, we can see him in the reflection a little bit. We zoom in. All right, let's call Freddy. Freddy's in Tacoma. I can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave me a nice message, then I will call you back as soon as I can. Thanks a lot. Hey, Fred, it's the program. Uh, calls back. You have about 40 minutes. All right, bye. All right, that was Freddy. Who was that message? We got a message from Bird, Freddy, and Heather. We call Heather back. She's only over, right over there, though. Uh... Maybe, what is he going to do? Just call Sean Downey too. He's with Freddie up there at the place. Oh, he's changing clothes. It's right, it's right. You have some women's pajamas. Hey, here I am. You buy those for a buck in the bag, a bag of buck? Yeah, I just put them put in the $5 bag. So I don't know exactly what the price value on that was. It was awkward. I was like talking to this old lady. She was like, oh, if you need this like for someone in your family. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, the whole time, like, no, it's for me. But I didn't want to say that. <laughs> I'm going to wear I wear a lady's pajamas, old lady. Please leave your message for two, five, three. Uh, hey, Sean, it's the program. Call us back over oh, uh, about 40 minutes. Bye bye. I'm just calling everybody to leave the same message for all of them. Well, where is everybody today? Everybody, it's, uh, it's Saturday night. That's why everybody's uh, they're partying and stuff. Yeah, we were at that party and then we came here. Yeah, we were partying. I saw LaBebe, Jala Brown, play the set there. Alright, well, we'll call Heather even though she's in the next room. Hello! Oh, we're calling you. Wait, call, 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 voice call. What? Ah. It's not even working. Oh, there it goes. Hello? Hey, there's a delay. Hello, there's so much delay. You don't like the delay you can hear yourself? Well, she's over there. What was that? She had the dream and she said that you that you we were walking and then we went into a house. Did this ring a bell at all? Uh, she said no. So we were walking and, and uh, oh, it's still going over the phone. So, here I hung it up. We were walking and then we went into a house. Did you just want to listen to it? No? Uh, okay, so we were, you said you were walking into a house and then inside the house we weren't, we weren't supposed to be there, and there was somebody in there that was mad, and at me for something. And then you said that I was, I was denying it, and you said that I either actually hadn't done it or that I was a good liar, and then you couldn't tell. And then that the guy called the cops on us, and that was that was pretty much the gist of it. Yeah. 
So that was, that was my dream there. Hillary's, yeah, she's right over there, but... It's just, we only have one camera going there. Yeah. Oh, there she is. Hey. hey. All right. All right. Well, let's see what we're gonna do now. We got, we got about uh, forty minutes left on the show today. We'll call some McDonald's maybe. We we'll call Angie. She's supposed to be here tomorrow. Yeah, Freddie. Oh yeah, Freddie. They're probably on the stage. I'm missing that that thing. That, but I try to call. Uh, what's I try to call Sean too. Yeah, they're probably playing right now. Let's call uh, Angie. Angie's her neighbor. You ever see? See her? I, I hardly ever see her. The last time I saw her actually was when we went to the program at her house. And I remember she said she was going to interview, interview me about my reading habits and she never did. Uh, uh, maybe her project is still happening. Probably not though because it's like week 9 or 10 or something. Hello? Hey, are you sleeping? No, I'm just laying around and saying podcast. What's going on? Volleyball? No, I'm listening to the podcast. Oh, podcast. Hey, uh, you're scheduled for the program tomorrow. Yeah, what time are you going to come over? Um, like, about three. Okay. Okay, and it's daylight savings time, so it's actually going to be, I guess, uh, two, but three, clock three, real three, you know? Okay, well, my phone's changed on its own, so I'm not going to be confused, hopefully. Alright. You like, how do you feel about daylight savings time? I think it's pointless. All of those is confused people. Yeah, that's what I think, too. Well, uh, isn't it for yeah, the farmers? Yeah, and they don't even follow it in certain places. Like, in Indiana, they don't do it. What? Uh, huh? In Arizona, they don't do daylight savings time. Yeah, it's stupid. Oh, that's crazy. You could, like, lie down on the state borders, and then you'd get, like, ripped in t- half with time. <laughs> yeah. That's definitely true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Liz Lewis is here. Hey, we're in my room. Oh, Lewis, the neighbor. Hi. Hey. He said, he said that he wanted to. He was, you were gonna interview him, and then you never did. Yeah, I remember. Oh, I know. I've been really busy. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, if you want to come over tomorrow, you can. Okay. Uh, what? Well, at three, you gonna be working? Yeah, I'm gonna be at the co-op. I'm around all day and trying to finish this project. Okay, I'll just come over sometime. What about, um, well, hmm. See, I have work, like, every, almost every day. So, I'm free on, from Wednesday to Friday. Are those days good, or is that too late? Uh, I'm going to turn it on Tuesday, but I can definitely show you after effects, though, if you're interested. Okay. Cool. Yeah, just come over whenever. Okay. Or like a block away. Uh huh. All right. Hey, thanks. I can't we'll see. You. We'll see you tomorrow. All right. Sounds good. Have a good night. Right. Bye. Bye. Oh, bye. 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 That's what we're doing tomorrow. It looks like it's for a nurse. You think it's stuff for a nurse? Well, this would be a pretty fancy nurse, I think. That's when people sleep. See, you were in sleeping clothes. Some lady slept in those clothes around. <laughs> It's funny because when I was getting this, I was actually, I thought it was like a pantsuit with like a skirt, but then it turned out that it was just these like weird frilly pants. Huh. But it's got this bow thing in the back. I don't know. Wait, well, you can't really see. You gotta, uh, and it also has, okay, wait, it's got. Oh. Yeah, you see, oh, it's like the bow, I see the bow, yeah. Yeah, and it's got shoulder pads. That's why my shoulders look so square. Whoa, well, shoulder pads to sleep in, huh? Yeah, well, I don't know if it's actually pajamas. It's it's like I'm, it's kind of straddling the line. It looks like pretty pajama- pajama-y. I think I kind of look like a genie also when I'm wearing it. It's for the '80s, yeah, everybody had those, those shoulder pads. Yeah. To make women look powerful. Yep, I am a powerful woman. <laughs> We're gonna call. Him. Oh, halfway. Been forwarded to an automatic message. No. Get yes, yeah, everybody out there, get those messages. They have Four, your face on them. Or not your face, but your, your voice. voice. Two, three, 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 three.
computer lady. It's my job, Barrett. She's the voice of the computer personalizer. Hey, uh, we had to, I guess it was Asha's schedule, but we're calling you about Asha anyway. She was scheduled for the 15th, but she says she can't do it. We gotta move her around. Call us back. Okay, bye bye. Ah. All right. Yep, so that was a pretty good time. It's in the middle. We're in the middle of March. Daylight savings time. It's almost spring. We have yep. two days for the viewers here. Yes. Oh, it's St. Patrick's Day today. Oh, yeah. It's the St. Patrick's Saturday. Day special. All right. Look. Oh, it can put on some green. Oh, yeah. Put on some green. You got anything extra? You guys, are you guys drinking out there? It's St. Patrick's Day. Wait, come in here for a second with your booze. Some people are drinking out there. We gotta show some. We gotta get some booze on the program for St. Patrick's Day. Uh, yeah. So happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. You like St. Patrick's Day? What are we gonna do for that? It's a. It's a. I don't wanna. I just wanna. Sh I just wanna Look, say. Look, I'm green. Say, ho de ho ho! It's St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Look at this b booze. Turn with the frog, motherfuckers. Are you guys drinking? Uh, here's this. This shirt has some green on it. If you guys are up, if you guys are up on Saturday yeah. night or tonight, it's, it's, it's like late night. Uh, late blue night green. St. Patrick's Day. Um, also, okay. So I've had I I had a debate with well, not really a debate. That's I think this shirt is green. Spencer thinks it's blue. Uh, I think it's uh, green, blue, blue, green. Uh, yeah, it's like teal. That's what blue teal. green is, right? Blue green. Yeah, teal is kind of between blue and green. Yeah. I think blue and green are primary colors. So that's definitely a blue green. I would say it's more of a blue though. Okay. If I had well. to say blue or green, I would say blue, but I would really say blue green. If I had a choice, but Well, here's this shirt exists too. Yeah, and Louis, you like to drink Mountain Dew on St. Patrick's Day? Yeah, I drank a I I actually opened that two liter today when I got home from work. Oh man, when was that? Uh, well, I probably got here at like six, Man. so I drank a lot of it. You know, cause two liters they lose the fizz so quickly. So you just <laughs> chug him. You're gonna have a yeah. You're gonna get diabetes. How much? How much? You, uh, about to do? Did you have you finished off on your birthday? Do you think? Um, Gallons? I don't know. Well, so there was like however many cans. There was like thirty something cans. I didn't really drink some. I think uh, there was four two liters. That's the last of the two liters. And it's probably like really flat now, so I'm not even gonna drink the rest of it. And then like, there's like, I have probably like, about oh, ten or less of the cans left. Maybe, yeah, probably more like six out of the thirty something cans. So I don't, just, I don't know. I usually drink two, two Mountain Dews a day, like one in the morning to wake up, one on my lunch break. Well, is this, is this computer get the internet? I'm gonna look at, look up a phone number. Okay. Uh, yeah. Is, is it, it turned on? on? <laughs> I don't know. Here, I think it's turned. I think I'm turning it on now. I press the button. All right. Here, we're gonna turn on this computer. Get some phone numbers. I'm gonna call some people who I think are probably gonna celebrate uh, St. Patrick's Day here. I guess we can call you. Yeah, let's call Sadie. Tell her about St. Patrick's Day because she drinks on the show. They they're in Port Angeles. We'll find out what's happening in Port Angeles. We have some people telling us where they people are in the, in the background here. Yeah, St. Patrick's Day. I bet everybody is watching the show is crazy. Yep. Yeah. Maybe they're just lonely because they don't have anything to do on St. Patrick's Day. Just hanging out with us. I'm wearing some women's pajamas. What color are you? Your walls are almost the same color as that shirt. Yeah. Are this is your your wall? You, you I think your walls are blue, right? Yeah. I guess that's blue. I'd say I would call, but uh, I say he's not answering. And she's got a robot message. I would call all the teal. Teal's its own color, right? Yeah. Sadie, it's St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> hey. Party on. All right. Are you feeling lucky? All right. Yeah. Gonna find a fourth. Oh well, man, I have the story from when I was a kid relating to four leaf clovers, or actually no, five leaf clovers. Yeah. So what? Five leaf. Yeah. So my mom bet me. Uh oh. Who's got put in the password here? 
I want to eat some corned beef. I really like corned beef. Corned beef and cabbage. You guys going to eat that stuff? You drink some beer, eat some corned beef and cabbage. Stuff is the, the, the good food there. Oh, did the, the, the Lewis figure out password or he's got a... Oh, the computer, the computer is loading. We're going to hear the story after... You let it load. Oh, oh, there it goes. We got to hear the story. Lewis can tell us the story, but now we got to wait for him to get on the computer and finish up the computer stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty hungry. I can get some of that corned beef. We're almost into the next commercial break here. After the commercial break, we'll probably call some McDonald's, see how McDonald's are doing today. Keep trying to call the Downing Brothers, too, out there. Let's try to call Sean one more time and see, see where Sean is at here. Tell him it's St. Patrick's Day. All right, it's going now. All right. Call Sean. What, what's this? What's the story from your childhood? All right. So my mom bet me that I could not find a five-leaf clover. She got, she bet me a hundred dollars that I could not find a five-leaf clover. And then, lo and behold, I was at uh, Bryant Square Park. It's like this park. There's a two blocks away from my house. And I was looking like every single day. And then I don't know if there was some like weird like radiation or some shit or like mutation. I found a 5 inch clover. What? And I brought it to her, showed it to her, and she she didn't honor our agreement. Oh, what? I think she like bought me like a few action figures, but they weren't worth a hundred dollars. Please leave your message for oh. two. No. Oh. Did you know that they were uh, the worth of things back then? And you were like, Mom, that's not the money. I mean, I think I get n- knew. I think I was like keeping track of it. I went to the toy store and I was like, "This toy is worth <laughs> like ten dollars," and it would did not. I think it's like, I think my mom like thought it, a five leaf clover was impossible. She was like, "This uh, is a bet I can't lose." I thought so too. That's crazy. And then I mean, actually, I feel like I ca- now I kind of feel kind of bad that I made such a big deal about it because <laughs> I don't think my mom had the money because there was like other problems going on in my family. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what you do when you're a child. Uh, <laughs> you're like, well, I want to buy all this stuff. And you don't know any better. Um, yeah. I don't I, I don't remember. I, I feel like I was between like 10 and 12, probably. Uh, I might be old enough. I don't know. But yeah. I don't know. Well, maybe I was younger, though. I don't, I don't really remember. My whole childhood is just, like, jumbled up. We'll call Reese. I think Reese might be on a plane, actually, though. That's crazy, but it was on the ground. You think it was radioactive? Yeah. I've yeah. never even seen a four-leaf clover. Yeah, it was, it was grown in the ground. I think five-leaf clovers might be cursed. Because, yeah. you know, three-leaf clovers are regular, and then four-leaf ones are lucky, but maybe a five-one is cursed. Do you think you... Did you get any luck or curses after that, or... I don't know. It seemed about the same? Yeah, I guess so. I don't, I don't really know if I, if I could pinpoint that as a contributing factor to anything. Yeah, Reese doesn't have a computer message. Yeah. Reese, it's the program. It's St. Patrick's Day. Hey, dude. Call us back. All right, where's this commercial break? Yeah, wait for the commercial break. And then we'll take that commercial break, and then we'll call some McDonald's. Ask about the Shamrock Shakes, because it's St. Patrick's Day. Oh, yeah. Oh, we should call uh, Megan. She okay. was like maybe gonna be on the show, but then she didn't this week. We'll call these people after the. Uh oh, I got. Oh, maybe she is gonna come. Oh, well, we'll find out. We'll call her and see where she's at. Oh, but maybe she was asking about that the address of that show that we were at. But she doesn't have very much time, and she's on foot. Oh, it's only twenty minutes. Yeah, there it is.
we act like it's not true, but it is. You, you start to realize it becomes harder and harder to function. To function. Dream phone. Oh. Dream, dream phone's gone. Yeah, we're like the dream phone now. And they're called. Is it us about our dream? Oh, yeah, we're the dream phone. Yeah, just call us. Yeah. Well, I don't really want to hear about dreams that much. Who are you going to call? Yeah. The daily hour with me. Should we call... Yeah, we'll call McDonald's and we'll call this Megan person after that. Okay. You want, you want, beer, you want beer for beer with her, right? Did, did that work out? Uh, I was I was one behind. And I don't know. I mean, work out. That's... I, I made well, it. You, I mean, did you guys you guys kept up with each other? And but I mean, she won then. Yeah, uh, up until the end, I didn't want to do anymore. She she got like a six pack of Tall Boy Rainiers. Hey McDonald's. Yes, this is still McDonald's. You guys have the orange milkshakes yet? I'm sorry. Oh, do you guys have those orange milkshakes yet? Oh, what over here? Oh yeah. Uh, I'm. I'm waiting for the orange milkshakes, like Arctic Orange. Oh no, we don't have the orange milkshake, sorry. Uh, what do you guys got right now? Um, right now we only have strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, and shamrock. What's a shamrock? The shamrock is a um, mint flavored. Oh yeah, what's a, what's a shamrock though? The shamrock is a shake. It's a shake. It's just the. Is this the name for the shake? Can we go and get it up? Yeah, it's oh, yeah. Okay. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Yeah, I guess if I know what a shamrock is, I probably know what St. Patrick's Day. But yeah. All right. Here is the number for. Oh, okay. Oh, I got it up there. Oh, I want some corned beef. And whiskey, corned beef and whiskey. That's the the Irish breakfast. Are you Irish at all, Lewis? No. I I'm might be. Ar- I might be Irish. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm a quarter something. Yeah. I'm um, half half Swede, half Jew. That's it. I guess. Well, quarter quarter Polish Jew, quarter Russian Jew, and that's the extent of the lineage there. Unless you go farther back to what things I don't really know about. Uh, I believe Spencer C. He's part Irish. Maybe we should call Boston. Boston. That's the, they're Irish over there, I think. Uh, they're the fighting Irish. Yeah. James from Boston. Go to voicemail or something? Uh, sh- I think there is a voicemail. I don't know. Just, just hang out. <laughs> All right, here. Let's call Zizang. I like to call Zizang when there's a holiday. We ask him how the holidays are celebrated in Canada. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, St. Patrick's Day is kind of a weird one. It's like an Irish holiday that I feel like is kind of appropriated by Americans. Yeah. Maybe it is. Maybe 
Maybe it isn't Steam, actually. I, I don't know. I don't know Maybe something's going wrong with the phones. Uh, it's not going to voicemail. We call the Hawaii phone. I don't know uh, what's going on with it. Come on, Zizang. Ring, ring, ring. Alright, well, we're going to hear the phone ring in the background. Oh, man. So, did you, did you see that hail? It hail a little bit. Wait, oh, let's play it. Yeah. Do you have any dice? Um, not. In we played the here. dice game like three or four times, but it didn't end up going anywhere. But I like to. We're doing winners of the show now, so you can just call, here. This is gonna be the winner here. We're just gonna flip this coin here. Okay. The winner. You ready? You call it. All right. Oh. Heads. Look at heads. It? it is. Oh, right. you won. Like, wait, wait, wait. We gotta get the camera on there for All verification. Right. So they can believe it. Yeah. I didn't touch it. Oh, you gotta. Can you see? You can't really see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get the camera off the thing. <laughs> oh, what happened to Z Zang? It didn't it didn't work. Uh, guess not. <laughs> oh, wow. ah. oh, we fell down. I'm falling down. Oh. Oh man, we're falling down. It's like you're Michael Douglas. Oh right. Oh whoa. Um. Move the sheet a little bit. <laughs> uh, can kind of see the head. <laughs> Don't trip. It. Where is it? Oh, there. Right there. Oh. <laughs> God damn it. So blurry. <laughs> Shadowed. <laughs> it's heads. It just it just it is heads. <laughs> okay, it's heads. Oh, <laughs> move the sheet. Move that sheet. You see? Oh, no. Come it's on. You can't get enough light on there to see anything. Oh, I think you can see it now. That's heads. All right, we saw it. Yep, we saw it's heads. All right. Oh man, now I gotta put the the tripod back up because we knocked it down. Oh, the cameras fall. All right. Living in darkness. Living in darkness. Camera back up on here on the tripod. Oh, we don't need, yeah, we're doing one camera today. Yeah. Magic day. Sorry, we're two. We're, I'm, I'm partying. Star Wars partying two. Partying too hard. Patrick, Star Wars two. Oh, you can see the art that read me of my name. It says Lewis Lewis. Lewis but Lewis. He made that actually before he met me because he really likes the name Lewis. Well, I think I've said this before on the program. Yeah. But I feel like he automatically liked me because he liked my name. And there's all my clothes. It's so probably seen a lot of them if you watch the program on a regular basis. Oh. Um. Oh no! Wait, what did I do with the thing? Now I lost the other thing. What? What? Oh, the phone. So I'm sneezing. Uh, I think I, I think I, I pu pushed around some dust. Oh, there it is. It's a wrapper on the camera. I, uh -oh. I, uh, yeah. When I was messing with the camera, I think I pushed around some dust in this room. Oh yeah. The, okay. So, funny story. We don't have a dust pan at our house for some reason. A dust pan? Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, how do you sweep? Uh, you either I. Usually in here, I just kind of sweep it into the corner. Which is you just right. sweep it in the corner? <laughs> yeah, it's like right over there. Or, I mean, usually people either use a piece of paper or a piece of cardboard. It's a dustpan, but then you just throw it away right afterwards. Because it's just a piece of paper or cardboard. Yeah. Disposable. So, you know, we're calling ZZ again. I don't know why I didn't go to a message, so I think there's something wrong with it. But now it's <laughs> acting. No. Hello? Now something weird is happening. You you making a te you texting somebody? What's going on with this thing? Come on. Yeah, somebody wants to know the address of that show place. But I accidentally just sent it's, it's Megan. She didn't pick up the phone, but she can text message. Um, but I accidentally just sent her a blank text message. So I hit enter too many times. St. Patrick's Day. What you? It said something about St. Patrick's Day. What? 
You message to somebody about St. Patrick's Day? No, it says I just sent her a message that says nothing at all. Oh. Because hit enter by accident. Hello? Zizang? Did this thing get unplugged or something? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It was working a minute ago. What happened? Where's Zizang? Wait, was Zizang, did Zizang answer the phone? I don't think so. Is it even ringing though? Where are you? We got a problem to do now. I don't know, maybe, maybe I got unplugged or something now. I don't even hear it ringing. Oh. Yeah, what happened with that? We got about 10 minutes left on the show today. We got about 10 minutes left on the show today. Finishing it out. So, uh, I'm doing a test here. Uh oh. Oh, uh, it should be working. Something's going wrong with it though. Zizang! Well, that's too bad here. Let's try calling the McDonald's. What do you what did you do on St. Patrick's Day? Did you did your did your family make corned beef? Uh no. I, I had actually I had never eaten corned beef until you gave me some probably like six months ago. Oh really? Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah, it was pretty good. Corned beef is one of my favorite foods. I was eating it six months ago. Huh? I guess I even not eat it outside of the. Maybe I eat it. I, I eat it on St. Patrick's Day and then I get uh, huh. a hankering maybe six months later or something. Yeah. Well, actually, maybe it was longer than six months ago because I was at your house when the program was still at your house. Oh yeah, it was more like nine months ago. Maybe yeah, it was even St. Patrick's Day last year. Maybe. Yeah. Well, because I, I started coming on in March last year, right? Yeah. So maybe it was one of the first times. I don't. I don't usually. I don't think I really eat corned beef outside of, outside of there. I used to work at a. Actually, I ate a lot of corned beef last year because I worked at this place that was an Irish pub, but they closed down. Oh wait, they closed. I <laughs> think I didn't get. That yeah, they closed down pretty fast. Well, they were like they were like Sketch City, right? Nah, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> hey, Mc hey, McDonald's. Hey, do you guys have any St. Patrick's Day specials? Hello. Hello. Hey, I'm 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 gonna go there on St. Patrick's Day. Do you guys do corned beef? Do corned meat. Yeah. Or do you guys have any St. Patrick's Day specials? Huh? Do you guys Do you guys have those orange milkshakes? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Orange. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Uh, do you guys have the orange milkshakes, Arctic orange? Orange, no. Oh, you don't? What do you guys got right now? We only have the champagne, chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. What's the first one? Shamrock. What's a shamrock? It's a minty shake. A what? Minty. Minty? Mm. Oh, okay. It's green. It's green. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Petting the clock. Yep. Petting time. What time is it? Yeah. All right, here we go. Call. Z I want to keep trying to call Zizang. I don't know why it's not working. Cause we can call the McDonald's, but not Zizang. Yeah. I don't know what's wrong. I don't know what's wrong. It's not letting us call Zizang. Hmm, maybe it's because it's out of the United States. Well, it, we, we right. used to call him all the time. Maybe it's, maybe it's this thing. I don't know what's going on with it. We can't call Zizang for some reason. Well, who else celebrates St. Patrick's Day? Well, it's a St. Patrick's Day special, everybody. I would like to get some of that, but too bad, I guess. We're going to call Jessica. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> Aviva's back. I don't know if the program has seen her yet. She's nope. She's only here for a little while, and then she's moving to L.A. I heard she's going to move in with Jessica, even. Whoa. <laughs> oh, what's going on um, with the, uh, this crackling set? Oh, here it goes. Jessica's ca it's calling Jessica now. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. There it is. Yeah, St. Patrick's Day. What? What is St. Patrick's Day? I mean, it's not for... Dr Hello? Hello? 
Uh, Hello? Uh, I don't know what's going on with this thing. St. Patrick's Day, what was it for before drinking? Uh, like, or what's it like? Who, who is St. Patrick? He is this dude. I think I remember the story is that he drove all the snakes out of Ireland. Like, oh, like Whacking, Whacking Day. What? Like Whacking Day on The Simpsons, you know? Yeah, kind of. I don't know if it's supposed to be like, <laughs> literally, there were snakes in Ireland. It's supposed to be like a metaphor for like moral. like bad people. Yeah, bad people. Or immor- immorality. Yeah. Uh, you, you, probably you can look it up. But he was apparently he was good enough to be canonized as a saint. He was what? Can- canonized. That That's just means the Catholic Church. Like it's like this guy is good enough. He was like a holy man. He was a saint. Like they're basically like the Pope and like all the cardinals and shit have to go around it or something. Yeah, so we at least got to ring with the thing, but he's not answering still. Yeah. What's going on with that? Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. want some corned beef now. I'm gonna wait for next week, I guess. I'll we'll start slow cooking it. You cl- st- slow cook that stuff is good. You're a slow cook food. You got a crock pot. Um, I, don't know. I used to have a crock pot. I think it broke. But I, I still have mine. I'm busted out and eat some of that corned beef. Yeah, I mean, we, I got regular pots in the stove. Yeah, that works too. Works just as good. Zizang, do yeah. they celebrate St. Patrick's Day in Canada? We have to know. Yeah, actually, I, uh, I used to have a crock pot, but then I lived on campus and one of my roommates in the soup, um, he didn't look at the fact that it was a crock pot, he just thought it was a big, big pot. <laughs> he put it on the stove and it like <laughs> melted and it never worked again. Well, he thought it was a, he thought it was a regular stove. He couldn't tell the difference between a metal pot and a crock pot. Yeah. Well, what? I mean, like the the, the was upper part of it was metal. Or? So like, if you didn't flip it over and look at it, you would never know. But I think after he smelled burning plastic, he knew. That's that's crazy. That guy's crazy. Yeah. Don't put don't. Oh. It didn't work for some reason. I don't know why I thought it's not even sending us the voicemail. Well, that's pretty much the show, everybody. Thanks for watching the show. Oh. Thanks, uh, St. Patrick's for maybe... Thanks for corned beef. Yeah. What are they kind of like, you know, why, why they call it corned beef? I think they like pickled or something. There's no yeah. corn in there. You don't even get with corn. Hmm. Is it corned? Can you corn anything else? Only have corned beef, then I've corned yeah. chicken. Maybe, well, wait, maybe, maybe I'm just, like, making this up, but I think maybe um, corn meant something else before the discovery of the New World. Huh. It's like, corn is, like, a New World crop. So I think they, like, used this word that already existed, but then it, like, dominated it because there's a lot of corn in America. So corn, the word corn beef predates corn the vegetable, possibly. Yeah. You heard it here know. first, everybody. That's yeah. what I. That, that's what we'll go with. Yep. Yeah. According to some pickling process. So there's the green green time, everybody. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, don't drink and drive. Uh, eat some corned beef. Yeah. We did it again. <laughs> bye bye, everybody. Here comes the credits. Here they are. Yeah, what's the sound that's coming up here? There it is. Call us. We're in Thurston County. It's local. Thanks, Facebook. Check us out. Like us on Facebook. Like us on Twitter. We're not there anymore. Don't go there. It's the tenth for us. I thought some pictures on the fourth on the fourteenth. I guess not. Thanks, crew. Gonna be on the crew. Lewis is on the crew. Thanks, viewers. Yeah, wait. Who's Lars on the crew? <laughs> Thanks. Lars, Lars is my stage name. Thanks, little baby. Your stage name when? Uh, when I'm singing karaoke. Hell yeah, dog. Bye bye. Oh, couch. <laughs>